This video is going to be a continuation from our previous video on profiling. Um, one thing I, I failed to uh, mention in the last video was Active Directory probes. Now this is a somewhat new feature as of uh, ICE 2.1 and it's pretty cool because it does give you a little more options without having to go full posturing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show I have a corporate uh, joined PC that actually is using .1x right now, but I haven't created the .1x uh, authorization profile or authorization profile and uh, authorization policies. So let's just take a look at it. Um, here's the corp PC. So it was rejected due to author per authorization profile, basically the default of deny any. But going into it, I can actually see the um, the at the AD uh, profiling information. So it was able to fetch the name that the uh, name in AD, that it exists in AD, the join point, the last fetch time, uh, the OS version, OS operating system, service pack. So it gives you a lot of information without ever having to install a po an agent on the endpoint and uh, po full, do a full posture. Um, usually .1x or uh, passive ID is kind of the way to go if you wanted to uh, to get more inf to authenticate the, the device. But this gives you another option that if you are kind of rolling out, um, if you're ro rolling out .1x or kind of rolling out your policies a little, you still have the ability to see what's an AD joined machine and what's not, or even create po profiles on it. So just for this uh, video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that would look like if I wanted to create a prof uh, profile on it and, um, and completely bypass .1x for just that purposes. So let's go ahead and go to profiling conditions. I'm going to create a new check condition for Active Directory. So AD joined. And the type of this prof, uh, of probe or profile condition is going to be Active Directory. Oh, Active Directory probe. AD host equals and in this case, let me go back here really quickly. So my court, my court PC is right here. AD host exists equals true. And that's the, all I'm going to set. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, go back to the uh, profiling profiles and kind of create a nested condition of, under everything. So let's see. So workstations, I can create a, a nested policy under Microsoft Workstation. And first I'll create one here. It's, this one's just going to be... Uh, Add, we're going to say it's AD workstation AD joined. The only thing that's going to be, uh, and we'll have the parent policy be just the workstation. And the condition will be uh, select existing condition, which is one that we just created, or I'm sorry. The one we just created, which is AD join. Submit. And I can just copy that one and nest it under. If I wanted to get really granular and uh, I can just duplicate this. I'm going to nest it under, next one I'll nest under is Windows. Workstation 10. Win 10, AD joined. So if it meets the, the conditions that it's Windows 10 machine and it's AD joined, it'll hit this, uh, this policy or this profile. Just do the same thing for everything else really quickly. So 
what's next is going to be Windows 7, and we'll nest it under Windows 7 workstations. Save. Duplicate. One more. I'm going to have this one be Windows 8. AD joined. Submit. And now if I power on this PC, it should go from, uh, it should now be uh, profiling as, AD jo as an AD join machine. So yeah, there we go. And if I wanted to potentially create a profile, uh, a policy based on it, I could. So as I said before, if you're migrating off of uh, or onto .1x or kind of still creating your policies, this is kind of an easy cheat way to uh, Windows, kind of a cheat way to uh, get around having .1x right now. And there's there are a, a other more direct ways, but um, if you're not ready to, to implement them or you know, you just kind of wanted to see what was AD join versus not. This is a good way to kind of pull pull that information out. So let me pull up. Uh... Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my AD joined profiles. AD joined machines. If I, and I, I potentially wanted to create a policy setup based off of that. And I will delete this by next video because this is not really the, the way I want to do it. But let's go ahead and create a rule above saying AD joined machines. Go ahead and link that logical profile over. and granted access. Now when it fails dot one X, it'll go right to that map profile. So give it a moment while it does so. Machine came on a little quicker than I would have liked for, uh, so it hit the Mavril first, but let me go ahead and reauthenticate it really quickly. Which one was this? Oh, here we go. It already hit it. So now it's it, now it's got AD joined uh, the permit access that I just created that policy. So. We can go ahead and delete this now, but I, I wanted to kind of show uh, the power of this. And we could also create profile, you know, we could create rules like AD join at a certain, you know, service pack and, you know, make sure that that's included in there without even having to fully posture or have any endpoint agent installed because it's grabbing that information directly from Active Directory, which will be most up to date if they're joined to the domain, um, it's short of actually installing an endpoint agent. So this is probably the shortest video I'm going to do, but I wanted to kind of illustrate some of the powerful things you can do with an Active Directory probe. But even just having that probe there, even if you're using a .1x policy, you'll still see that information when it's, uh, uh, and you can go in and see, you know, the uh, the attributes like anything that, you know, what what's, what's on what service pack. Now, as we go and progress through these videos, we'll have some cooler profiling and posturing rules that we can create that will be showing us all the applications that are on the machine and what's running versus installed. But, uh, and that's new as of ICE 2.2 right here. But, you know, I, I did want to at least illustrate one, one easy little probe you can do if you're on ICE 2.1. Thank you so much, and I'll go ahead and start recording the next video.